you can talk about that, Thomas. This boat that's, here. Yeah, that's uh, I believe the uh, XP44 of uh, Henry Gernsen. And he better turn around quite fast before yeah. he goes aground. Very I fast. Think he's, I wonder if he's familiar with the ground here, but uh, he's oh, I don't quite know. close. I, I wouldn't. Uh -huh. He's got two and a half minutes to start. I wouldn't oh. go there. Two and a half minutes to start. Quite close, let's, yeah. But let's talk mm. about that boat and why why we particularly like to talk about him today, bearing in mind that uh, we'll he's be talking about the XR41. Yeah, he's, he's one of uh, the first owners of the coming uh, XR41. I believe he's getting he's hull number ground. four. Yeah. He's got a, he's got an alter course very fast now, it looks yeah. like he is. He would really got to turn around now. He was definitely, he went aground there. He just hit the ground. He did? Yeah, oh. Too bad. He did. He's got yeah. to take in his sheet to windward. He might be able to clear it. But that, how much does an XP44 weigh? Oh, something like uh, uh, off 10, the top 11. of my head. Yeah, the, almost 11 tons, I believe. I'm yeah. getting 10, 11 tons. Yeah. And that's not a boat you just pull off the ground on your own. So he's got to pull in his uh, his jib to windward, hoping that he kill over yeah. the boat a little bit. And ease the main all that he can, I believe. That's right, yeah. Able to turn it off the ground, maybe he'll have okay. luck to do that. Let, oh. Let's go back. Yeah. Let's go back to the uh, the uh, drone picture. You can see yeah. the starting line here. There's just a minute and twenty seconds till the start goes, and uh, you know, other than Henrik there to windward, you've got uh, and uh, an X442. You've got oh, yeah. the yeah. Uh, you've got the XC47 with Tornum Cornum on it right behind them. These boats that are coming close to shore are really, really, really pushing their luck. They've got to keep away from this area altogether. There's just not enough water there. Yeah, okay, and, and then behind there you've got a first 40. Um, you've got an X, the, uh, which is this, the XC4, is that next to 37 we can see there on the right hand side? Looks like Henrik yeah. has just come free of the ground, I believe. If he can come Ooh, free now, yeah. in the next yeah. 40 seconds, he might have an amazing start. He just has <laughs> to take in his star. If he takes in his starboard sheet now, he is in free sheet. now. He is free. Yoo-hoo! Wow, that uh, would be amazing. If he Look at the boat behind timing. that. You can, she's just jiving. That's Martin yeah. Meridine in his, uh, in his beautiful Landmark 43. Yeah. Martin won the single-handed Danish uh, uh, DH championship this year. Championship, you know, I think there were nine or 11 boats that started, which was uh, another one of Morten Brandt's innovative inventions which is a really good idea. You've got 12 seconds at the start. I mean, Henrik Jørgensen, I'm not sure if he's sailing or he's just pushing mud. I think that if he takes home his jib, he'll probably be able to come free of the ground. By the looks of him, turning the wheels. He's off now, he's free. Aggressive. He's I think he's still just clearing. Oh, yeah. He's still in the mud, is he? I think he is, but uh, he must be clearing now. It would now he is accelerating. I think he's clear Brilliant. now. Yeah. He got an amazing start. <laughs> Uh, good timing, probably, good timing. probably a little <laughs> bit more dramatic than he want to. He's gonna <laughs> hate the. He's gonna hate this film. He really is. Yeah, that's great. Let's go back to the zone. The the uh, the. And the Torben Cornum is also getting a good start. Actually, he's got an amazing start. Mm, you know, yeah. a nice windward start. I mean, Torben Cornum isn't originally a racer sailor, is he? He's a windsurfer. He's a windsurfer, but a very good one. So he has a really he good does. sense of wind and uh, sure he where has. to go. Yeah. And and like you said, it's a very it's a definitely a fast performance mm. cruiser because look at it. Even though it's a a big heavy chunky boat, forty seven feet, it's still keeping up nicely and it's healing over. You know, yeah. there's definitely a feeling of a real sailing boat there. It and also has a considerable sail area, so it it's it's still performing, although it's almost a uh, fifteen tons of uh, displacement. Sure. Yeah. That's the, the boat I call the pure beer, the forty nine foot boat with the big flag at the back. Oh, yeah. You see the yeah. aluminium boat with the with the hard shines, the windows and the sides. We haven't seen that boat here before. It's 49 feet and, and weighs about 13 and a half tons. 13. He can move, mm. he can move 800 tons of 800 uh, uh, liters of water ballast from one side to the other 